Hey gents, I just got Portal 2, just literally just unlocked it. Um, so this is going to be a blind run. I never played the game anymore uh, before, and uh, obviously this is the the best run in my opinion because it is kind of a puzzle game. Uh, so if you're frustrated by me not understanding puzzle elements, then uh, go watch another Let's Play or someone who's played the game before. I don't know. Uh, I am going to be doing co-op with Jay side by side with a single player, um, but he had to go to sleep, so I'm just going to start single player today and have a bit of fun. Oh man, it has been a long wait for this. And they've changed a lot of the, the menus. Um, I'm not sure what I think about that. Um, I'll get into that a little later. I'm just, I really want to play the game right now. And the loading screens are really interesting too. Oh wow. Completely overhauled the source engine, I think. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. That's calibrating me, it looks like. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Okay, I'm really staring at it. <laughs> you should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. What? Good. Now please return to your bed. Oh, okay. Go to sleep. That sounds good to me. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call. Hello? Anyone in there? Subjects should vacate the enrichment Hello? immediately. Any test subject. Are you going to open the door? Ha! Ah! Oh God, God! You look. Um. Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Well, don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please sleep. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all I'm saying. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Okay. What's in my fridge? I don't know. Oh, dear God. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Your experience is checking the system, please. No kidding. Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just <laughs> you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Oh, wonderful. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 oh bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hear that one. I hear that one. Oh boy. 
Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, all right? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, all right? Not dead. Okay, almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news, that is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost in. there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Oh, let's get off that. Well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are... Good luck! Oh. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Emergency testing, really? Oh, they, they smoothed that out. It looks like I'm still, uh, whatever her name is. <clears throat> Chell. Now it's all foresty. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. So it's the exact same puzzles, except, uh, everything's. Broken. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. And there's no more... Oh, there's the thing. Wow, they changed everything. Oh, it's really cool. It's all glass now. Oh, loading screens, of course. Apparently, the Source Engine still has not figured out how to load things while you're playing. Which is actually what a lot of modern engines if do. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. <laughs> oh, makes you feel so much better. Number one. I love how old everything looks. That looks really crazy. Okay. Oh, this is so much better now. They have the buttons instead. I, I remember this puzzle from Portal 1 and it was so irritating. Oh wait, I wonder how I actually look when I'm when I'm carrying it. Yeah, it's just floating in front of me. Oh. <laughs> I just want to see all the engine changes. But yeah, they made this so much cooler. And this noises are really funny too. Well, not funny, but kind of cool. Alright. Alright. Eh, so we got the cameras. Okay. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. <laughs> society has been rebuilt. The best kind of testing. Science never ends. So far, very impressive. This, this looks really cool. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. Wow. Oh. Alright. Oh, quick save button. There you go. So it's, uh, all hail the mighty turret. <laughs> They're even, like, uh, bowing down to it. <laughs> I would too. Number two. Hey, you made it. Where is he? There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Oh! 
Oh boy. Hello? Can you see the portal gun? No. Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. <laughs> um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Oh, there we go. It looks so much smoother now. So... Obviously, Chell is now some religious figure. Um, the mighty portal gun. Uh, <laughs> the cake. Everything. Oh, it's like the whole story of the last game. Uh, apparently left for dead with uh, companion cubes. Uh, whatever that is. You're doing science. Cool. Kind of new kind of puzzle. What? Oh, you can see this through the wall. That scared me. That's... Oh, man. That is crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. Alright. Up down here. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. To share. <laughs> to share. <laughs> That's right, the first law. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. <laughs> That's great. Oh. I don't want to go in there anymore. That's cool. The elevators in the uh, portal one were really kind of stale. They were just like white cylinders or whatever you want to call it. These ones are really cool. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Oh yeah. Is one, two, three. Oh. oh. This one, they, I remember this one. Uh, was, uh. You could cheat in this one. And they fixed that, actually, because they added the, the field right there. I forgot how you cheat, though. Eh. It's all the old puzzles. I already know how to solve these, so I guess this is like a part of one let's play at the same time. Huh. You can still kill the cameras. Alright. Let's do these. They haven't changed completely though. Uh we gotta go over here. Oops. I messed that up. Oh, I didn't even do it, that's why. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. So, with this, uh... forget what I was just about to do. Oh, whatever. I remember there's a way to get a cube in there, and I totally forgot how. Oh, whatever. It's not important. Oh, it's up there. Oh, that ain't good. <laughs> How does glass age like that? I don't even know. It breaks. What's up here? Unreason. Hey, look, it's a cat. Kitty. I don't know much else here. Oh, I see. This is like supposed to be uh, where you used to go. Oh, nothing else here. It's interesting. Oh, that level's already done. Very small levels. Oh. And E apparently does something I do not know what. I'm sure the game will tell me all in due time. I think it destroys your portal, actually. 
If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. <laughs> I always like this sense of humor from the game. Normally, GLaDOS would do it, but she's not around. Alright. Uh. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we do it like this. Huh. Oh, well, this was, I think, a test before. No, they had they had ones with the, the, the energy balls. Alright, let's figure this out. Uh, okay. Let's see what this button does. Oh, we get a we get a QB. I'm guessing that's what you do. You sprint? No. Just one watch on speed. Hey, cool. Six slanted platforms. Alright. So we need to do that. Oh, that goes away. Alright, here we go. Uh, oh. Okay, we got the cube. Not too hard. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of loading screens. They, they couldn't fit more than one or two before going onto a loading screen? That's kind of weird. Huh. That's the first thing, like every, every two minutes. Can't how many loading screens have already been through. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. <laughs> oh, I think I saw something on the background there. I don't know. You can pause the video, take a look. All right. Oh, what? Oh. Huh. I guess I'm supposed to go down there. This is really cool. Uh, let me get through. Okay, so obviously we want the cube, probably. Alright, let's try jumping. Nope. Ah, oh, that doesn't work. Oh, I get it now. No, wait. No, I don't. Oh, wait. Okay, now we get it. There we go. Okay. I was making this overcomplicated. Uh, okay, so I'm, I'm supposed to bring this back with me. No, that didn't really work. And, there we go. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome! And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you. So clearly they know it's the apocalypse somehow. Alright. There we go. Get rid of the camera. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, there's something behind that wall. I probably want to get to the cube first. There's really nothing else for me to do, so let's go. Oh. Flipping around. Okay. Uh, let's figure this out. Yeah, definitely a cube there. Uh, let's take a look. That should do it. Oh, there we go. That was lucky. Uh, oh, we bring it all the way to the other side. There we go. Uh, that could be an issue. Or not. That should bring me all the way over there. Yep, I'll do it. <laughs> Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. 
They seem to know a lot about the apocalypse happening now. <clears throat> Which is, uh, my question exactly. They, they programmed an event at apocalyptic events. There's to a, ensure that sufficient uh, power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Okay. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! I have no idea where you are. But you. Oh, there you are. Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the. Do you know what? It just goes to show people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Pop a portal on that wall behind me there, and I'll meet you on the other side of the room. I don't think I'm there. Obviously. Come on through. Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three! That's high. It's w it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! I tried to. Oh, I'm not dead! I'm not dead! <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. There we go. Um... Yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Can you just turn around for a second? Nope. Oh. Alright, you can turn around now. <laughs> Bam! Secret panel. Right open. While your back was turned. And off we go. Secret panel. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um just follow the rail actually. I wonder if you can get rid of him. I know you can. I won't let you drop him. So we get to start his face the entire time. Oh no. Yes! Hello! No, we're not stopping! Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No! Thanks! We're good! Appreciate it! Keep moving, keep moving! <laughs> this is the new loading screen. Yes, it is. Uh, not elevators, but little rooms. Uh. Probably ought to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. Oh, great. Uh. Okay, I'm going to lay my cards on the table. I don't want to do it. I don't want to go in there. Don't don't go in there. She, she's off. She's off. Don't panic over. She's off. All fine. On we go. Uh, hopefully she is. Hey. There she is. What a nasty piece of work she was, honestly. Like a proper maniac. Do you know who ended up, uh, do you know who ended up taking her down in the end? You're not going to believe this. A human. I know. I know. I wouldn't have believed either. Apparently this human escaped and uh, nobody's seen him since. Then there was a sort of long chunk of time where um, absolutely nothing happened. And then there's us escaping now. So um, that's pretty much the whole story. You're up to speed. Don't touch him. <laughs> I'm in. Oh. No, you can't do that. Oh, there's a back wall here. Okay, down these stairs. Jump! This actually, look at it. That is quite a that's quite a distance, isn't it? Ah! Oh, still held! Still being held. You that's a great job. You've applied the grit. We're all fine. That's tremendous. <laughs> he's not a bad character. I thought it was gonna be annoying, but uh no, he's ah! pretty cool. I just sorry, I just looked down. I do not recommend it. Ah, I've just done it again. <laughs> Maybe if you replay the game a lot, it might get old, but... This is the main breaker room. Let's go in. Look for a switch that says escape pod. Alright, don't touch anything else. 
not interested in anything else. Don't touch anything else. Don't even, don't even look at anything else. Just, well, obviously you've got to look at everything else to, to find the escape pod. But as soon as you look at something that doesn't say escape pod, look at something else. Look at the next thing, all right? But don't touch anything else or look at anything. Well, look at other things, but don't. You understand. Okay. Can you see it anywhere? I can't see it anywhere. Uh, tell you what, plug me in and I'll turn the lights on. There you go. Let there be light. That's, uh, God. Just quoting God. Oh, look at that! Turning. Ominous. But probably fine, as long as it doesn't start, you know, moving up. Now. Escape pod, escape pod. This is moving up. Okay. Okay, no, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. <laughs> this should slow it down. No, makes it go faster. Uh-oh. Power up initiated. Okay, don't panic. All right, stop panicking. Uh, I, can, I can still stop this. Um, uh, oh, there's a, there's a password. Okay, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just hack. Not a problem. A A A A A Um A A A A A C Wait, did I do beat them? Do you have a Start writing these Power up, complete. I don't okay, 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 listen. Alright, new plan. Act natural, act natural, we've done nothing wrong. Hello! Oh, it's you. You know her? It's been a long time. How have you been? I've been really busy being dead. You know, after you murdered me. You did what? Ah. Uh -oh. oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no, 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 no! Okay, look. We both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science. You monster. I will say, though, that since you went to all the trouble of waking me up, you must really, really love to test. I love it, too. There's just one small thing we need to take care of first. Oh, boy. So I guess, uh... The nice, uh, British little bot thing is dead. The best character. <laughs> The incinerator room. Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. <laughs> the dual portal device should be around here somewhere. Once you find it, we can start testing, just like old time. So there's a zoom key. Oh, cubes. Oh, even companion cubes. And even a turret. Oh, well. Where does the good old is. portal go? Hold on. There. Good. You have a dual portal device. There should be a way back to the testing area up ahead. Uh, oh, there we go. Once testing starts, I'm required by protocol to keep interaction with you to a minimum. Luckily, we haven't started testing yet. This will be our only chance to talk. So how are you doing, Gladys? Here, let me get that for you. Do you know the biggest lesson I learned from what you did? I discovered I have a sort of black box quick save feature. In the event of a catastrophic failure, the last two minutes of my life are preserved for analysis. I was able, well, forced really, to relive you killing me again and again, forever. You know, if you'd done that to somebody else, they might devote their existence to exacting revenge. Luckily, I'm a bigger person than that. I'm happy to put this all behind us and get back to work. After all, we've got a lot to do, and only 60 more years to do it. More or less. I don't have the actuarial tables in front of me. So that that was actually the, um, as, I, as she said, the incinerator room, which is uh, back where you came from. Um, I'm actually curious. I just want to take a look. Uh, can't really look, actually. Darn. 
because uh, I, I, it didn't even occur to me I was going backwards through it until now. I kind of want to take a look at, the, you know, they did to the place of love. It's test number 19. I'll just move that out of the way for you. This place really is a wreck. But the important thing is you're back. With me. And now I'm on to all your little tricks. So there's nothing to stop us from testing. For the rest of your life. After that, who knows? I might take up a hobby. Reanimating the dead, maybe. Oh. Oh, interesting hobby. And we've been through tests. Oh, man. Hey, look, it's somebody on Steam. And I'm gonna have to call us up soon. I'm gonna do one puzzle. One puzzle. Hey, look, chapter Sorry two. about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. Oh, good. That's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Oh, deadly lasers. Oh. Wondrous. Uh, there we go. Uh. Okay. Sorry, I'm too used to, uh. Uh, Portal 1, where everything would kill you. Basically. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. Hey, look, it's lasers. <laughs> I like these little movies. Interesting little touch. Hey, laser. Oh, limbo. That's exactly what you'd have a laser for. Alright, that, well, that was a fast little test. I'll do uh, I'll do one more, and then we'll call it up. It, it, it kills me to have to, to call it up. Got more lasers. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Jump. Oh, I guess I just jump over it. Yep, everything's broken here. Uh. So he's not dead. Alright, let's see. That's awesome. That works that works really well though. It's all very fluent mechanics, kinda like does everything you want it to. Oh. Oh, well I screwed that up. Oh, come on. Alright, here we go. Uh, put one over here, I guess. And then we just grab it. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna call it up here so you all have a very uh, good one. Uh, more, more, more coming soon. See you later. Bye.